everybody, welcome. If this is your first time with me, my name is Jane and I'm so happy to have you here today. Um, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making paintings using salt and watercolors. They're called raised salt paintings. And I got this idea by looking at an artist named Wassily Kandinsky. He was born in Russia in 1886 and died in 1944. He was um, credited with being one of the pioneers of abstraction. When he first started working, he worked realistically and then his work got less and less realistic and more and more abstract. He did these circle paintings, circles in squares, in 1913. So that's over a hundred years ago, and this is pretty contemporary looking. So that's what we're gonna make today. And one of the other things that, that Kandinsky was, um, about Kandinsky was he was devoted to expressing inner beauty. Um, and I hope that all of you are always expressing your inner beauty through your art. So why don't we get started? Um, I just wanna show you some examples of what we're gonna be doing today. I did a couple of them. This is one with nine squares. And then I did a smaller one with four squares. And we're gonna be doing the four square piece today. So let me show you the materials you're gonna need. Um, you're gonna need at least one marker, one of your markers to do the frame, the outside. You can see that I have an outside line around this. I used a black marker, but you can use any color. You're gonna need some poster board. Now, in the future, if you wanna make more of these, you can use paper plates of various sizes, but they have to be paper plates. Plastic plates don't work very well. The, um, the painting sort of slides off the plastic. You are going to need scissors. You're gonna need pencil. You're gonna need some white glue in an applicator like this. You're gonna need perhaps a ruler is optional depending on how much, if you wanna measure or not, how much measuring you wanna do. You're gonna need salt. I have a container of salt and I have the excess salt from the first ones in a bag. You can save the salt and keep reusing it. I need a paintbrush. I need some watercolors and I need a pan to catch the salt. I also always like to have some paper towels with me and I'm gonna have cups of water already. Um, I have six cups of water. When I use watercolors, I like to keep washing my brush so they don't get muddy looking. Okay, so, so let's get started. I'm gonna put these two pieces aside. Let's put these over here. And I'm gonna start with my poster board. So I want to cut a square. You can either measure a square carefully with a pencil and cut it, or you can find something in your house, um, in your room that's square. I have this Kleenex box and I know that the bottom of it is square. So I can trace the bottom of it with my pencil on the paper. Let me get the salt out of the way. So I can trace it. I have my square and then I can cut it. And now I've got a square. Now the next thing I want to do, get this out of the way, is I want to make my frame. You can see that these have frames around them. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of white edge. Now again, you can measure a frame or I can do it simply by using my finger. So I'm gonna put my finger where my nail is, right at the edge, make a little dot, do that again. So this way I have little dots at about the same place all around the square. And now what I can do, can you see these four dots that I have? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a marker. I think I will take the black one. 
and I'm going to connect the dots. So now you can see, without measuring, I have a pretty nice even frame. Now what I'm going to do is find the middle of this black line. So I think it's about here, again without measuring. And then I'll do the same thing here, find the middle. And now what I'm going to do is just draw a very light pencil line, not a dark line. And this is where I'm going to paint. So now I'm going to open my watercolors with my brush and I'm going to paint each of these four squares in a different color. So let me start with purple. And I'm gonna to try to stay a little bit inside the black line because since these markers are washable, which means they're water-based, if I get a lot of paint on them, which has water in it, it'll kind of smear the marker. So I'm trying to stay a little bit away from it. And I'm gonna paint and I'm going to fill these squares in. So let me, and I can choose any color I want to choose. So I have purple. Okay, now I want to clean my brush really thoroughly because again, if I get um, if I get too many colors mixed together, it's going to be very watery. Let me try a green. Try green over here. Okay, so I'm going to keep painting. And I'm going to fill this in. So I'd fill this all in. Get a little more water from another container. Fill it in. And then do another, let's clean the brush. Do another square. This time I'll take some blue. And then I paint. Careful to meet the other two edges. Okay, and I continue painting and I think you get the idea. So I already did some. And you can see, same colors. I have one with a thick frame and I have one with a thin frame. So after you completely paint this, what you're gonna wanna do is let it dry thoroughly. And then you're gonna end up with squares of paint that are all dry, don't leave any paint on your hand. Now sometimes the paper wants to curl up a little bit, so it's easy enough to just go on the edge of the table and flatten it out and this will get it flat. So I'm just going to work on this one for now. So I'm going to put my tray over here. Let me get my watercolors out of the way. We are going to be using them. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Okay, so I've got my tray, and this is going to catch excess um, salt so that I can reuse it. So now I'm going to open my glue, and I'm going to make circles using just glue. So I'll put one circle in another circle, and then a little dot. Let's do some more. And the more you do this, the better you'll get, because you'll get the feeling for how it works, how the material works. So I have now basically bullseyes 
or circles within circles in each of these four squares. Okay, now the next part is the fun part. We're gonna pour the salt on. I'm gonna use new salt so you'll see. So we're gonna pour the salt on this and you wanna pour plenty of salt all over this and the salt is gonna to stick to this glue. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to, this is the part, dump. We're gonna dump the salt, the excess salt off so now you've got plain salt that's raised off of the surface of the paint. And I'm gonna get my tray out of the way, just put it over here. And now it's time to start painting on the salt. And what's very cool is when you paint on the salt, the paint travels. So I'm gonna choose a color and I'm gonna get it nice and watery. And then I'm just gonna to touch the salt and you can see how it just travels. Get nice and watery. Very cool how it travels. Okay, now I'm gonna choose another color. Let's choose uh, green. Okay, so choose the green. Okay, now let's do another one. So on the purple, I am going to choose, this is like a pinkish dark purple. So that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my water again. I've got some purple water down here. Okay, so I'm gonna, and you can see the, the more watery the paint is, the better it travels through the salt. So I'm gonna make sure it's nice and watery. Okay, clean my brush and some fresh water. And now I think I will use um, some red hardly any red left in my set. So let's see if we can get some red out of this. Put lots of water in it. Okay, let's, there we go. I think we got enough red. I think these colors worked out well. You can use any color you want. Just don't use the same color as the background. Now I think I will use uh, blue. Let's use this blue that we already have for that middle dot. Okay, now let me use the blue for this. Okay. And maybe some orange. This looks red, but it's really orange. And it goes pretty quickly. You can see why I have to have so many glasses, cups of water over here. And then let's just do yellow for the middle of this. There, now, how about yellow on this blue? Get it nice and watery, the watery the better, more watery the better. Just touch it very gently, I don't have to Go deep into it. It's just once the water touches the salt, it travels. Okay, let's do some purple. And then maybe 
to finish up with, how about a green? And now I've got my raised salt painting that kind of looks like a Kandinsky. Okay, now I want to show you one more thing. If you wanted to, we did circles and squares. You could do squares in circles. So the way I got this circle was I simply traced the salt container and that gave me a circle, then I cut it, then I divided it in half and cut different areas. So let's just do very quickly, I'm gonna just do some squares within circles, just as an alternative. Now you can use this technique once you've mastered it, you can use this technique basically to do a to do just a drawing of something real instead of doing an abstract drawing like Kandinsky does you could do something realistic like you could do flowers and trees whatever you wanted to do and now you can see I've got the salt on here and this is the this is when I paint it so I'm just gonna do this really quickly to show you. And remember the background colors have to be dry. You don't wanna paint on wet paper. because everything will kind of mush together. All the colors will mush together and it won't be very pretty. Let's do one more, let's do the green. So, instead of mm -hmm. circles in squares, I have squares in circles, but I kind of like the mm -hmm. circles in the squares better. So that's how you can make a Kandinsky painting. I hope you had a good time today. Um, and be sure to let these thoroughly dry before you do anything with them. You should let them dry several hours, if not overnight, so that the salt dries. And that's how you end up with a raised salt drawing. I hope you had a good time today. And just remember, be kind. Bye-bye.